Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefez here. Here's my review of Power Rangers Mystic Force. Now, before I get into this, before I start talking about some things, first of all, I want to say rest in peace to Peter Rutter. Um, she died back in 2010 from a brain tumor two weeks after her diagnosis. Uh, she uh, she acts as um, Udonna, um, who's like the mentor to the other Rangers. So I want to say rest in peace to her. Rest in peace. Oh, Jesus Christ. Rest in peace to her. Um, you know. Rest in peace, you know. Um, is there anything else I've to say about the season? No? Uh, no, not really. All right, so let me get into it. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. This may be controversial to to some people, but I can't really give two shits. This so far has to be the worst Power Rangers season I've ever watched in my life. Even Turbo was better than this shit. I mean, sure, the story didn't have as many inconsistencies as Turbo did. I'll, I'll give it that. But at least Turbo was still a little bit more entertaining. This shit makes Turbo look good in comparison. This series fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. Oh my god. It was so boring. Every episode felt like a chore to watch. It came to a point where I just stopped taking notes and just started putting the shit on fast forward just so I can give myself the accomplishment of actually finishing this, sh this, this series. Like, this series... It's the shortest series out of all the Power Rangers series I've, you know, covered so far. Yeah, at the same time, it felt like the longest. Because how boring it is. I mean, oh my god. First, so let me get started off. The theme song, for the most part, fucking sucks. Literally, why in the hell do they have a rap song as a theme song to something that is supposed to be based on fucking spells and wizardry. How the hell does a rap song correlate with that? Does that make any sense? <sighs> That's like me putting a rap song as a theme song to a fucking a Tudor themed TV show or something. Or putting a rap song to a fucking, you know, the Wild West themed, you know, TV show. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't match. Why the hell is that rap song as the theme song for this shit? Now I'm not gonna lie. The last part, here come the Power Rangers. Here come the. It is a little. It was a. It is a little catchy, you know. Mr. Force Power Rangers. Yeah, whatever. It is a little. It is a little catchy, you know, the ending part. But all the shit beforehand, it is fucking noise. I do not, it's just noise to my ears. It's terrible. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> makes no sense. Another thing, why in the fuck do these guys have mobile phones when they're supposed to be wizards pretty much? What do they need mobile phones for? They can cast spells. The Rangers are not really that interesting. I have to say, Nick has to be one of the worst fucking Red Rangers I've ever seen. One of the worst. <laughs> Along with Rocky. But at least with Rocky, he wasn't even a leader. He was just a replacement. So it's not really fair on him for me to even say that. But Nick as the leader has been one of the worst Red Rangers I've ever fucking seen. He is not that interesting at all. Always courageous. Okay, cool. So are the other characters in every single Power Rangers series. you got to have a little bit more than that. I mean, ugh, Jesus Christ. Vida is not that interesting. Madison is not really that interesting either. Xander, Chip, they're really not that interesting. Dangor Dagoron, his suit looks cool and everything. But again, I just didn't really care. I didn't care. <laughs> You donna, I liked her, you know, 
Claire, I mean, with the spell, her constantly messing up the spells and messing herself up. I got really old very fast. I stopped taking notes after a while because it just it was the same. It was the same shit every episode. There was always something wrong that she was doing the spells. I just got really old very quickly. You know, Phoenix. You know, I like him. You know, he's all right. But him constantly scaring the Rangers as well. I mean, you know, whatever. I guess that was okay. But I guess there was times where it could have got old as well. In all fairness. You know, but I guess that's his trademark. But again, I like Phoenix, you know. But, oh my God, this was such a chore to watch, man. Seriously, if you had to put a gun to my head and ask me, would I rather rewatch this or Turbo? I'm picking Turbo any day without a second thought on Twice and Sunday. Seriously, this season fucking sucks. I mean, with this fucking, oh, Korag is your father and you are Bowen and I'm your mother. Like, the, bruv, my, my face didn't change when she said, in fact, my face did change. It changed from having a straight face to the face KB Lane makes when someone does something fucking stupid. That's literally, that's literally the fucking difference. It's like, what are you talking about? And, uh, <sighs> and Bowen is the fucking lost child that you don't know was looking for and Korag is their enemy, you know, powerful enemy, one of the few main villains that actually fights the Rangers constantly by himself, you know, who ends up being Nick's father and you do not end up being his mother, like, what the hell? The only inclination, like, first of all, I do not remember a time when Nick even mentioned not having any parents, you know, mentioned being adopted or anything like that, mentions that, you know, he misses his parents or anything like that. Not even a single mention. In fact, I don't even remember a time when Nick even gave a fuck about any of his parents. So why the hell should any of us give a fuck when we find out that Korag and you do you don't know are his parents? Like what the hell? Like that that doesn't make any fucking sense. It just sounded like they they, they just needed something. You know, they just pulled it out of their ass and didn't care if it made sense or not. You know, what I mean the only inclination that Korag may be Nick's father is when you know, Nick constantly had voices in his head that Korag was talking to him and all that shit. But other than that, it just, ah, uh, it just fucking sucks, man. It was trash. At least with Astronomer and Andros, there was a connection there. Andros was looking for a sister ever since she got kidnapped when it was both kids. Astronomer was evil and tried to kill all the other rangers, pretty much. And Eclipto manipulated her and said the Red Ranger killed your brother and your parents. When really reality, the Red Ranger was a brother all along. An astronomer was actually an interesting villain. All the villains in this show, I did not fucking care for. I didn't. I did not give a single shit about any of the villains. Like, oh my god. Nick has to be one of the most boring Red Rangers ever. One of the worst. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Boring. Like, they try to force this, I'm your, I'm your uh, relative kind of bullshit. You know that plot twist shit where the villain is your relative or your mentor is your relative and all that shit. It doesn't even work well, you know. You know, it's like, like, when Carter Grayson had memories, you know, no, no, when it was revealed that Captain Mitchell was the person that saved Carter Grayson when he was a little kid and inspired to become a firefighter, at least still several times throughout the whole story where Carter Grayson mentioned it. How about how someone saved his life as a firefighter? And when he saved little kids from, you know, a fire emergency, he always told that story to them because it he made him feel, he wants them to feel the same feeling that he did when he was a little kid. Someone to look up to and whatnot, you know. And then they found out, and then it was real that Captain Mitchell was the guy that saved him. That, you know, that made a lot more sense. Andros and the astronomer, you know, turns up to be grown. That made a lot more sense. There was build up there. Here, Nick does not even fucking mention his parents, doesn't say anything about his parents, doesn't even give a fuck about his parents, and all of a sudden he's supposed to give a fuck when Udonna tells him, oh, I'm your mother, or, and Korag is your, f like, bruv, and, and you're Bowen, like, what? Really? Really? Are you, like, are you serious? <sighs> Vida, no personality. Madison, no personality, really. Xander and Chip, again, no personality. You know what I mean? These guys have no fucking personality. Like, this series fucking blows. It just dragged on and on. It just felt boring. 
You know what I mean? It's just so boring. Like I said, it doesn't have the inconsistencies that Turbo does. You know. But it just felt boring all around. Like, none of the characters were interesting. At least Turbo, Justin was interesting. At least to me. TJ and Cassie. And Carlos and Ashley showed some potential. At least you got Diva Talks, who was a much better villain. You know what I mean? It's... I don't think there's more I can say about this season. Oh, Rita comes back for two episodes in Mystic Force. You know, Rita Repulsor from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What's she doing in Mystic Force? Didn't Andros turn a human? Yeah, the only reason they retconned that is because <laughs> Machiko Soga, who acts as Witch Bandora from um, Sentai Zero Ranger or Kairu Sentai Zero Ranger which was the original version, you know, the Japanese version of um, Mighty Morphin before, you know, the American version adapted after the Zero Ranger was done with, you know, she acted as Witch Bandora, who was Re Re Repulsor, you know, the main villain in Zero Ranger. And then when Mighty Morphin came out, they used the footage with Machika Soga in there. And then once they ran out of footage, they got someone else to do it. And Machika Soga was, um, she came back, um, to do a role in the Japanese version of um, Mystic Force, you know, and, you know, Power Rangers for some reason thought, you know, let's just reuse, re let's just reuse Rhea, because I guess she must look more recognisable as that. So they just said, you know, let's retcon it and just make her Rhea in Mystic Force. You know, she showed up in the last two episodes. Did I really give a fuck? Slightly gave a fuck, but not really. This is the only ending in the fucking series I did not give a single shit about. I did not care for the ending whatsoever. The only part where I cared about the ending was when Xander said that fucking Lily's mum was hot. That's the only part I cared for, you know. Not that I think the mum's hot or anything like that, but it was a funny line, you know. But other than that, I can give two shits about the series, you know. There was no SPD Mystic Force crossover, thank fucking God, because it wouldn't have made a difference anyways, you know what I mean? And you had the SPD Dino Thunder crossover, which SPD and Dino Thunder are far way better series than this piece of shit. And even then, when those two, when those two teams merged together, it weren't anything great. So imagine if SPD and Mystic Force merged together, fucking hell, that would have been a car crash, you know. Now, why is there no SPD and Mystic Force crossover? Well, <laughs> the reason why is because Disney, I think it's probably the time when Disney just started giving up on Power Rangers. The reason why, I don't know, but I guess Disney thought that, you know, crossovers weren't really worth, you know, the time and money wasted put onto it, you know, having to fly um the actors over from one place to another and blah 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 they thought it just wasn't really worth it you know and mystic force was originally supposed to be 38 episodes like ninja storm dynaphon spd world but it cut down to 32 episodes because of budget reasons i guess so yeah there's a lot cut from mystic force but to be honest thank fucking god they cut it cut it down to 32 episodes because i don't think i could have done another six episodes of this shit i don't think i could have you know this series just fucking blows you know, and I always had a feeling before I watched this, excuse me, always had a feeling before I watched this series that I wasn't going to like it. I don't know why, there's just this weird feeling I, I, I wasn't going to like it. You know, because when I finished watching SPD, I wasn't really that hyped to watch Mystic Force like that. All the other scenes as I watch, and as I was finishing, you know, the preceding series, I was always like, all right, cool, I'm finishing Dino Fun, I can't wait to watch SPD. Or I'm finishing Ninja Song, can't wait to watch Dino Fun the next. When I was finishing SPD, I was like, yeah, Mr. Force is next. Okay, cool. Whatever. I I watch it because it's next. You know, maybe I didn't like it because apparently it's based on Harry Potter, and I've never been a fan of Harry Potter whatsoever. Never really been my thing. Maybe it's the theme song, which is shit for the most part. <laughs> maybe it's the wizardry theme and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe it's the stacks. I don't know. But there's just always something about the season. I thought I wasn't really gonna like it. But I watched it anyways, and yeah, it turns out I don't like it at all. This is the worst fucking season I've watched so far. Worse than Turbo, I'd much rather watch Turbo than this season. I'm being fucking serious. I am being serious. I'm not even joking. This series really sucks. I've never watched a series where every episode felt like a chore to watch. Not even Turbo. Turbo didn't even feel a drag to watch. It, it was just a shitty season, you know. Well, in comparison to this season, it's fucking good. <laughs> but not even Turbo, every episode felt like a drag to watch. But this shit, you know... Oh my goodness. I just I just started putting on fast forward. It was just boring. I just stopped taking notes. I stopped taking notes. It was just boring. I, just, I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. 
Hopefully this is a sign I'm losing interest in Power Rangers already. Or maybe it's just a sign that this season is just that fucking bad. You know? But I think that's all i got to say, to be honest with you. Well, this, well let me start talking about shit. Because I'm now start talking about things that I don't really talk about in other seasons. But let me fuck it. Let me might as well. I do it. Like, <laughs> I can't even talk. I might as well do it because I'm not going to talk about the characters in depth like I normally do. The suits... They look shit I'm being honest They just look fucking shit Like <laughs> They look nothing special They look like shit You can get from the fucking toy store At a discount And they're not good either It looks like the kind of suits That not even your kids want to wear For fucking birthday parties and shit It looks shit But when they put the armour on And all that extra shit That's when it starts to look better I'm not going to lie It does look bad From there on in But <sighs> This season sucks It sucks and apparently in the next season, Operation Overdrive, Operation Overdrive is one of the most hated seasons in the series, apparently, for one reason or another. And you know what? I actually can't wait to watch that one. And the reason why I can't wait to watch it is because I want to see if it's really as, as a, uh, if it really is as bad as people say. You know, because after watching this shit, I've got more hope for Operation Overdrive now. <laughs> Not that I was ever really down on it because, you know, I have never watched it. You know, when people say this season shit and that season shit, it makes me want to watch it more to see if it really is as bad as people say. But I've never heard anyone talk about Mystic Force this way and fucking hell, look how this shit turned out. You know? But yeah, this review's done. It's like short, this is going to be the shortest review ever in the fucking series until otherwise. You know? So that's my review. Ran over. Um, it's the first. I'm out. Operation Overdrive is next. <laughs>